Hey guys, I'm Foxy Dean, you're watching Hip Hop TV. I am at the Urban Music Awards 2007 with PMC. Everyone knows who PNC is. We've got Rookie Card out and his hit single, Just Roll. Isn't that right? Yeah, it's massive. It is massive. Killing, um, killing shit right now. The biggest thing to come out of New Zealand, hip-hop, that's right. <laughs> so how have you fe felt about the awards tonight? What's been going on? You know, you've seen some talent that you've really liked out there and that really deserve to win their awards. Who have you especially liked to see win their awards tonight? Um, to win their awards? Um... Girl won this award that was cool. He's been doing this thing for a long time. Um, I really wish that Chong Lee had won the R and B award. Oh, so do I. He's I was listening to his album, he's really soulful R and B. He's got it going on. One of the best producers. He's one of my, he's one of my heroes, like as a musician world, worldwide, he's one of my heroes. Yeah. And I it sucks that he didn't win, but Congratulations to the people that did win, but I, w I wish Chong Lee... We're a bit biased here, you know, of course, you know, coming from New Zealand. And it's on my <laughs> album, so I, you know, he's the man. Yeah, though. that's true. And also, best um, D uh, producer was P Money. P -Money. Yeah, yeah. And oh. You're working really closely with him these days. Tell us about your involvement with P Money. Well, he he, he co-owns the label that I am um, signed to, Dirty Records, and um, he's just an amazing producer, like... Yeah, he, you know, certain people have that, that air, it's like a X factor, you know, they, they, they know what works every time, you know, so working with um, Pete has been amazing and I'm really happy he won the producer award. He's got three awards, he's got three UMA um, trophies now. That's true, that's true, he picked it up last year as well. Yeah, he's yeah. killing it. So you were up for best new talent. Unfortunately, you didn't pick it up, but you know you were nominated. So are you, are you all happy? There's no, there's no hate. It's all love, isn't it? No, nah, I'm, I'm happy. Justice and Chaos. They're my favorite um, Aussie dudes as well. Out of Australian rappers, I think I like them the best, and I love Spit Up on so, um, Hills of Hoods. Yeah. I like platinum, so I, yeah, I platinum and then in right. Australia don't even really know my homes out, so I, I can't be mad at that. And um, I was really happy to be nominated, so it's all good. What do you find the differences are between like the New Zealand hip hop and the Australian hip hop? Is there much difference there for you? The biggest difference to me is um, in Australia, it seems like a lot of actually that Australia has they they go for. Uh, Two type of markets. They have commercial. I, I hate to use uh, cliche words, but they have the dudes that are going for the commercial market, like um, you know, trying to get. They, they seem like emulating Americans as much as they can, trying to, and almost not being themselves and trying to go for the commercial market. And then the other side you have is so underground, and they rap in it really, like really, like really Australian accents yeah. and underground as as you can be. And there's no middle ground. Whereas in New Zealand, um, most of the artists, pretty much all the artists that are good in New Zealand, are, they just like hip hop. Like they like um, you can like you can like Nelly, and you can like Atmosphere, you can like you know most things you can like you can like uh, anything you like. You know it's it's accepted. But in Aussie, it seems like dudes are either really one or the other. There's not much of that middle ground artist, and I'm not trying to disrespect any artist out, but that's just what, what, what I see when I when I come over here. And um, I don't know what it is, if it's an insecurity within the artist, but that's just... We're all just trying to do our thing here. Yeah. I'm not trying to be down yeah, on Australia yeah. and hip hop, but if, if, if you ask me the big difference, I think that's the thing that, yeah, there's, there's not such the middle ground, like, a, like Scribe. Scribe. Scribe appeals to the most underground dude, he, and he, appeal, he appeals to a um, hardcore hip-hop dude, he appeals to a 12-year-old That's so true, yeah. Girl, he's you got know? that real hardcore underground hip-hop going for him, but he also has that commercial success. Exactly, so he appeals to everybody, and like all the, all the artists that I've ever been into, like, like a Tupac, Jay-Z, Eminem, Nas, Outkast, they always can do that without even trying. Yeah. You just make the music you make, and I, I, I don't know. I feel bad when artists seem to look like the um, trying to appeal to a certain audience, and the music comes across and comes across contrived, and then they mightn't even be trying to be like that, but it just comes yeah. across like that. I suppose because like we are kind of um, you know not as high peak as the American artists are, so it's like.
like, oh, well, if I become like them, then maybe I'll get that same success. So I suppose that's where it kind of comes from. But also with hip hop, you kind of just got to be yourself and roll it out. And that's all it's, what it's about. The motto of hip hop is keep, exactly. keep it real. And but I don't blame anybody for what they're doing. I, 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 I don't disrespect them if they're like, um, they will call me uh, uh, Usher or something. Try to be like Usher. They're just, trying, they're just doing what they can do. But if it comes across contrived, it, I think a lot of the time it's not their fault, but it just comes across like that. And, it, and yeah, it's hard. It's hard you know? So where does your style move in between that? Like, are you are you trying to all round it or are you more trying to peak for the commercial or are you keeping it real underground? What? How do you... I know the term... Keep it real is over overused and exposed, but you know, tell us tell us where you try to stand or. Well, like especially uh, everyone on Dirty Records, um, me, Sky, Frontline, P Money, we try to not live by any motto, you know, like yeah. in just make music you like and don't try to appeal, don't try to appeal to anybody, because then that's when the music comes across like it's like you're trying to do this. If you just make the music that naturally comes to you, then... And it's like you got your own label. It's like PNC, you can't recognize with anyone else, you know? <laughs> I just try to make the music that... I try to make music that I like, and I try to make music that... It's hard to explain, but if I heard myself, I'd want to play it. Do you get what I mean? So I try to make that kind of music. But I really do it just because it's fun. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be into hip-hop if I didn't real fun making the music, working with all different people in New Zealand and Australia. Um, I'm drunk if you didn't know that. <laughs> we're all drunk at the UMAs. It's getting to that time. We're just we're hanging out for the after party, guys, really. But, you know, we, we can't go by without speaking to PNC. But, you know, DJ Sevilla, the pioneer in New Zealand, he's labelled you the next biggest thing. What does that mean to you? Like, as a person that's been in the industry for just so many years, you know, and you're you're making it big now, like, what, what does that mean to you? He said that a few years ago. It was a couple of years ago, and um, I, was, I was stoked. Like, I was stoked, you know? I was, I was, you know, someone that you respect that much, giving you that type of praise. I was just like, man, that's cool. Thank you. I was like, well, that's my very thing. Hey, man, thanks for saying that. But at the same time, it put a lot of pressure. I felt a lot of pressure, like, I'm meant to be the next thing or something. But, man, it's cool. It's, 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 he wasn't even, a, he's not even a pair to me. He's like a legend, you know? So, same as, like, dudes like P Money and um, Shay Boo and that. But I've been able to work with, I don't even care what they do. I, I just, I'm just happy to work with them. And when he said that, I was very thankful. And I, I said, thank you. Look it in and you're like... Center. <laughs> you stay humble. You gotta stay humble. Do you do you take do you handle pressure all right? Like or is it just like Argh! how do you go with um, being under pressure? It depends what type of pressure it is. Like tonight, I felt quite nervous about tonight because um, my profile wasn't that big in Australia at the moment, so I, I, I knew people would know who I was. But or I, I had butterflies backstage, or back and forth on the bus, and it was fine. But um, <laughs> it was but uh, pressure. You know, And that's exactly what you're doing, PNC. So thank you very much for talking with us tonight and congratulations on your nominees. Thank you very much. All right, so PNC, everybody, go grab it. Rookie card, check it out, support it through Dirty Records and also Warner Music. This is Foxy D and you're watching Hip Hop TV. Peace out.